Yeah, hello, Chief. Yes, have you confirmed the payment? You've not seen it? Oh, I'm very, very sure that I paid in 10 million last week. Yesterday, I paid in 5 million. Hello, sister. Okay, okay, let me, let me confirm from my phone. I'm sure the, the transaction was successful. Hello, sister. Sister, excuse me, please. Okay, let me check and get back to you, okay? Good afternoon. Yes, I'm not And sister, I would like to preach the word of God to you. I would like to tell you about this. Like this? Can you take a good look at yourself? Take a good look at yourself. Anybody that sees you will know that poverty is written all over your face. And you want to preach to me with your poverty stricken life? See, let me tell you. You better drop this Bible and go and hustle. Go and hustle and make money. That time waits for nobody. Drop this thing and go and hustle. But wait a minute. Why is it that all these people that carry this Bible and preach about Jesus are always looking poor and wretched like you? Eh? Why? Why are you people always looking poor and wretched? See, let me tell you. Like I said before, you better drop this Bible and go and hustle. Follow your mate and hustle. Go and hustle and make money. Drop this Bible. Drop it and go and hustle. It's rubbish. My sister, it's not about how I'm dressing. It has nothing to do with the message. It's all about your soul. Your soul is important to Jesus. You need Jesus in your life. And if this is how people that follow Jesus look like, then I am not interested. I am not interested. See, let me warn you. Never you in your life stop me next time for this rubbish. If you ever try it, the kind of slap I will give you, you will never forget it in your heart. Be one. Never you in your life stop me for this rubbish. Be careful. Rubbish. No sense. Look at you, poverty stricken man. Hello, excuse me. Please come. Yeah, good day. Good afternoon. Um, don't mind the young lady. <laughs> she is here to understand life. I heard the way she was insulting and embarrassing you. But I want to tell you, please, never you be discouraged. Hmm? Keep preaching the gospel. Keep telling people about Jesus. I pray that God will reveal to her the mystery behind the name of Jesus. Hmm? Do not be discouraged. Please, I have something for you. Um, please, I want you to manage this, eh? Just take it. Take it and buy yourself some new clothes so that you look nice preaching to people, okay? Yes. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I appreciate You're welcome. God bless you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you so much. My okay. God bless you, sir. Amen. Do not be discouraged. I'm also a preacher of the gospel and we must make sure that this gospel get to the world. Yes, yes, we will not be discouraged, okay? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Have a nice day. Thank you. Which is, okay. Thank you. Thank you. So in her mind, she thinks that people that serve Jesus are poor. <laughs> Little does she know that the wealth of this world belongs to the children of God. Well, I think um, this is a very good platform to prove to her otherwise. <laughs> Hello, fine girl. How are you doing? Good day. Yeah, um, I don't know if you're going my way. I can offer to drop you. Anyway, I'm going to the junction to get a taxi. I'm going to the bank. If you wouldn't mind, can I drop you off? Please. Okay. 
จำพอปิด What's your name? My name is Melda. Melda. Wow. What a lovely name. Thank you. Um, uh, Melda, what do you do for a living? Mm, right now, I'm not doing anything. I'm still looking for a job. Oh. Okay. Are you a graduate? Not yet. I'm still looking for admission. You're not even a graduate. Okay, sir, we are almost at the bank. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me drop you. Oh, it's alright. Thank you very much for the ride. Thank You're you, welcome. sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, um,. Imelda, you know, when I saw you, I liked you, and uh, I have something for you, if you wouldn't mind. Something for me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, um, yeah. It's a hundred thousand naira. Yes, you can use it to take care of some of your needs. Hundred thousand naira? For what, sir? <laughs> I understand how hard things are these days. So just take it, take it and take care of some of your needs, okay? You know you're a young girl and um, you're not doing anything for now, okay? Please. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You're Thank welcome. you, sir. God bless you, sir. Yeah. One more thing, Imelda, before you get down. Um, there is something I want to tell you about myself. Okay. Uh, first of all, my name is Victor, and um, I'm a graduate and also the CEO of Divine Hospital, the popular hospital you know in the city. Oh, oh, oh. Divine Hospital? Yes. The popular Divine Hospital? Yes. You are the CEO? Oh, it's a pleasure meeting you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Yes, um, I also do several businesses, and uh, I must tell you, <sighs> my businesses are doing well. God has blessed me, and um, I'm doing well in everything I'm doing. God has been faithful. I'm into so many things, and God has been helping me. I don't know if you'll be interested if I share with you the secret of my success. Yes, sir, I'm interested. Who doesn't like good things? I'm interested. <laughs> you see, I saw the way you were insulting that man that blocked you on the street to tell you about Jesus. And I saw the way you were you know, talking to him. You insulted him. And I was shocked. Well, um, there are things you need to understand about mm. life. I was like you. I was a sinner like you. I never believed in God. I never believed in Jesus. I hated preachers the way you do. But a day came that I had an encounter with Jesus. And ever since I had that encounter, my life changed. I was in darkness, thinking I was doing the right thing. And throughout the time I was in that darkness, living my life anyhow, I was stagnant and nothing was moving in my life. But as I gave my life to Jesus, everything about me changed. Jesus is the secret of my success today. I want you to understand that people that serve God 
are not wretched. We are rich people. Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So if the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, it means that God being our Father will give to us, his children, all that he has. So the wealth of this world belongs to the children of God, which I am a beneficiary. Everything I have today is given to me by God. And I want to tell you that if you give your life to Jesus, you'll be successful in all you do. And everything you desire in life will be accomplished. So I don't know if you'd like to give your life to Christ. Yes, ma'am. I would like to give my life to Christ. Okay. You have made the best mm. decision of your life. Yes. And never you go back from it. I'm happy you've done so. Let me pray with you. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I give my life to you today. Give my life to you. Forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all my sins.